We're now learning a lithium ion battery is to blame for a fire that killed three people in Brooklyn over the weekend. Fox Eye Stephanie Bertini joins us live from Crown Heights. Uh, and Steph, the city has now lost 17 people to lithium ion battery fires this year alone. Natasha, Steve, Fire Commissioner Laura Cavanaugh was here at the site of yesterday's fire just a few hours ago, clearly upset over what officials are calling an ongoing problem. Yesterday, three members of the same family, three generations, all killed in a blaze. It was in a three-story building here in Brooklyn. That fire happened overnight between Saturday and Sunday. It was actually in the early hours of Sunday morning. The fire's marshal's investigation into the blaze was concluded earlier today, confirming this was caused by a lithium ion battery. We have seen how deadly these rechargeable batteries can be many times when they catch fire due to overheating, we've been told by officials. One thing that can help reduce the chances, as we've reported in the past, is how they're stored. Officials keep repeating that improperly charging or storing these batteries in an improper way can lead to them overheating and then causing a fire. And those fires are often explosive and deadly. Often used for e-bikes or electric scooters, these batteries are very common with people who deliver food around uh, New York City. Just this year so far, again, 17 fatalities related to these batteries. This number is staggering and is devastating, and it underlies a problem that we have been sounding the alarm on for some time. At 17 lithium ion battery fatalities, we are on track to surpass 100 fire deaths this year. That is an extraordinary number not seen in decades. We currently have 93 deaths to date, including the three right here from yesterday. Officials calling on private retailers to stop selling these batteries. The fire, which started here early Sunday morning, was a tough one for fire crews. A firefighter was badly hurt in the blaze. As we reported yesterday, that firefighter is expected to recover. Several people were hurt. Some lived in that building. Others lived in adjoining buildings. And, of course, this proved deadly for that family. A grandmother, her son, and her adult grandson. A lot of people in this area are still digesting what happened. Yesterday, I was here at the scene. Emotions were very raw. And today, we see that continue. We're told that grandmother lived in this neighborhood for more than 40 years. Of course, with the holidays approaching now, many people are really feeling emotional about this loss in the community. Back to you two inside. Yeah, understandable for sure. Thanks, Stephanie.